weekends. I love Little Whorehouse, the best little whorehouse in Texas. I freaking love that movie. Her and Burt Reynolds together. Oh, that's where we first heard I Will Always Love You. And yes. yeah, because a lot of people think that's a Whitney Houston song. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. It was actually Dolly first. Yeah. And she had more of the country twang to yes. it. That was the only difference. Yeah. And Whitney took it, ran with it. You see, no one's tried it yet. Right. No <laughs> one can touch it. And then I went to nine to five. And then after I saw that she made a big donation. Did you see that? I actually seen that on the news. Um couple nights ago when they was talking about the vaccine yeah and she made a donation to it um and it ends up going towards the research and it was a million dollars that she donated i love her but it, it, it takes it takes people like dolly to step in and really want to try and make a difference and say okay enough is enough we yeah. need to do something yeah you know so up to dolly and go ahead, sing sing the I Will Always Love You part. Go ahead, go ahead, girl. Oh, see. I, I, I can't, I couldn't even I'm not going to put you on the like spot. That. I'm not going to put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, another thing in the news, I found this really interesting because this was so sad, Um, what happened. Um, Naya Rivera, her ex-husband now is falling a wrongful death suit in their son's name because yeah. of um I'm, I'm just gonna get that they didn't back have up. appropriate safety um requirements on the boat right um and they didn't have a net a life jacket mm-hmm. or anything like that and no signs were up they just had plenty of deaths since like 19 19- 56 right. or something like that right. and no signs were up about the leak um they just i mean how do you how negligent <laughs> i know <laughs> i'm like first of all no vests on that pl- platoon no radio like not even anybody patrolling the area like that's scary the worst part was he was on that boat oh, by God. himself I know. for right. Was it an hour or so? Mm-hmm. Thank goodness he didn't try to jump in to save his mom. Oh, my gosh. I mean, they said that she must have gotten tangled down there because she was a swimmer. I really do hope that they they get what what's coming to the family because that's bullshit. Prayers to her family, yo. Now, Rain, you don't watch any of the Housewives, right? Are you? I am so behind, behind on, on everything. Them. When I was watching it, I mean, there was no Potomac. There yeah. was Orange Ooh. County. There Ooh, was Orange you County, know, girl. Um, Big Ange and them, uh, Mob Wives. Oh, I was okay. watching that. Mob Wives, and, yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, Atlanta, I was into Atlanta for a long while, and then I got lost, and once I get lost, I just, It's It's I hard stop. to kind of, yeah. <laughs> but you could catch back up. I'm telling you right now, Potomac is, I mean, it was always kind of like, um, to me, it, it was slow dragging. They had some good stuff on there, some of the cast on there. But this season is insane. I have to touch on this only because it is, and it's something that you can join in on because it's it's something that is really messy. So there is, um, you know how... Uh, with the housewives, when a new girl comes in, she's automatically the target. Don't nobody like her. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so um, I'm just going to kind of recap real quick. Monique came onto the season and she she was like one of the second women on there that's married. The rest, one lives with her ex-husband um, and one doesn't have a man at all. And And Monique came on and she has money, money. Like, her husband played for the NFL. Like, money, money. She's like, oh, that's, like, my third home. This is my (laughs) second home. Like, money, money. And Giselle, Robin, and Karen are, and um, Ashley are the the, uh, other 
housewives. Oh, Ashley's also married. And so just setting up the whole tone, okay? So Monique is a little annoying, but I mean, they all are, you know? And so then fast forward, um, new girl Candace comes. Now, Candace is very flippant with the mouth. I mean, she's a Kenya Moore, but like a childish Kenya Moore. You know, Kenya Moore is bad, but she's like grown woman bad. She'll be like, I'm a twirl on you. Like she comes up a little, (laughs) you know what I mean? And Candace is just like in your face, like, what you gonna do though? What you gonna do though? (laughs) So it's been some tension brewing, some behind the scenes stuff happening. Candace, Monique now are at odds. They were kind of friends and now not. And Candace said, well, what you going to do then? What you going to do at the wrong goddamn time? Because Monique showed her and Molly whopped her ass at a winery. Like, I'm serious. Like, she... Oh, wow. They had to pull her off. And once they pulled her off, she ran around and tried to get her again. Oh, it was wow. bad. It was bad. Now, don't get me wrong. I... Being grown women, I don't think we should be like scrapping it out like that. But in Monique's semi defense, I can't stand or take somebody antagonizing me either. No, I can't have you coming up in my face and, and I can't even walk away. Like I have a very short temper. I got to leave. Like, okay, I'm out. I'll see y'all next week. I'm not filming no more. I'm gone. Like, that's me. Okay. I'll take that pay cut because Monique got money. And it's like, now this girl is going to probably get some of her money. You know what I mean? Digging her pockets. So, uh, this Sunday, um, Ashley had to, Ashley's another castmate is friends with Monique. That's a whole other thing. I'm going to tell you to catch up this season because you're going to be like, oh, my gosh, this is last season. You're going to be like, oh, my gosh, this is good. So um, Ashley ends up writing a statement against Candace because Candace threatened her with, like, with a butter knife and everything, like tried to fight her. Terrible. So now it's like this whole battle and all the girls are separated. Like, now, nobody likes Monique except for two people. It's so messy. I'm tired of hearing about the fight, but I'm like, it's going to make for a great reunion because that's when it all come out. Because you know there's somebody sitting there collecting the bones and got a story to tell when the reunion come out. So, And I think that person is going to be Karen because Karen be holding on to stuff, like one of my Facebook friends said. And sure enough, it's going to come out in the reunion. And Rain, you gotta promise me you gotta go back one season and watch it. You will not be disappointed. See, I just said you I just said to myself, she's gonna make me yes. hit on something that I really probably don't need. You need it. To, it's right a good now. laugh. <laughs> and I'm not even gonna go into the real housewives of Orange County. Oh my god. Uh, it's it's terrible. Terrible this season. They done got rid of all the good girls on there that kept it going. It's terrible. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's terrible. So you got some catching up to do. Are you ready to hit the switch? Yes. All right. So this is our hot topic for today. Um, You know how every, I guess the best way to break it down is as a woman, because that's all I can speak for. (laughs) I don't know about (laughs) men, but as a woman, We hit our 20s, and it's a whole different thing. Then we hit our 30s, and it's a whole different feel. It's like more of like a, oh, man, all right, I know some of the mistakes I made. Okay, I think I got the hang of this. All right, I think I'm okay. I think I'm good. You get the late 30s, 40s, you're like, I got this. I can't wait for 40s to come along. You hit 40s, you're like, made it. Bitches, look at me now, still looking good, 40. And then, oh, my God. You know how, like, you feel like everything is shifting and you're like, I got to control it. I got. There comes a time you're not going to be able to control it. It's going to happen and you have to tuck and roll with it. 
When did that tuck and roll happen for you? It literally happened when I hit 40. It seemed like everything at once came at me. Mm-hmm. Um, like just before I turned 40, I was basically, you know, without a home, without a job, and mm-hmm. trying to figure out what was really going on, what was happening. And, um, I had education, you know. Yeah. It, it's not like I didn't. I have a degree, you mm-hmm. know, turned around and went to school again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just to try and secure myself yeah. even, even more. And I just, it kind of like broke me down. Like, I didn't know what, what. I could do where I could turn and I think as soon as I realized that I need to pick myself up somehow if not I seen things going for the worse yeah um, my depression was at a point where people could actually see it Wow um, I wasn't able to hide it I didn't even want to admit that I was mm-hmm. and when I finally gave in, honestly, to just God, just honestly said, okay, I've had enough. Yeah. I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of feeling like I was empty. I'm tired of feeling like I had nowhere to turn. I had friends. It's not like I don't have friends. Right. But you just feel like you're, you're alone, yeah. even though you're not. Yeah. You know, and you don't really want to bring anybody else down, so you try and hold that smile, that yeah. positive, you know, face and people know better. I went to church. I filled out um, our crazy faith Mm -hmm. um, cards, um, did my crazy donation. I didn't have, now keep in mind, I said I didn't have a job at that point. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this, God. All I even have is like $5 to my name, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I put it in there, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I said, okay, that's it, whatever. You know, I, I got to start somewhere on my faith, and I threw that five dollars in there. Wow. Um, I wrote everything that was going on on my card and put it in there. Mm-hmm. Two months later, I got a phone call about a job that I had not applied for, but I didn't even what? know anything about. And all I could do was, you know. Okay, it's time to make some changes. You yeah. know, that right there, if that wasn't, a, you know, no a slap right there, like, come on, I'm, I'm trying to show you right now, yeah. you know. Yeah, I've been I got on that you job back. for a year and a half now, you know. Okay. <laughs> um, I got up my own place, and it was when COVID started that my clientele really plummeted. Yeah. Um, We couldn't do any face-to-face anything. Mm -hmm. And me being high risk, it was even worse on me. Mm. So I had to figure out something. Because even though I had a job and I was still working while others couldn't, it still wasn't enough. Yeah. And I got tapped on the shoulder. I was like, what are you doing? Mm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. You can be doing some of these things that you sitting up here saying, I wish I had the money to do. Oh, I wish I had the money to do that. Mm-hmm. You do. You have the money to do it. Mm-hmm. And I really had to stop and chastise myself. If I got money to buy weed, I got money to actually invest in a business. Yeah. You know, if I got money to go and get my nails done and my hair done, I got money to start a business. Yes. I got money to expand myself. You know, I don't have to sit and wallow in, you know, not having this when I can make this, Mm -hmm. you know. And I've been seeing all these people doing this, and I'm sitting here almost with an envious spirit, like, why can't I do this? And I had to slap my own self in the face, like, you can. Right. You know, just redirect your money and, you know, just make it happen. How can I make a difference in what's going on and help people? The one thing I know I do worse than anybody probably is lick my lips. And with wax, it's not that it doesn't help us, but in all honesty, it's not really all that good for us either. And it's disgusting. It's really <sighs> nasty. Like, oh I don't my like gosh. the buildup. <laughs> yeah. I spent money on getting a, mar- a medical marijuana card. Okay, I'm really investing. Mm-hmm. 
how am I going to, you know, flip this now? Lips 